coal and petroleum two very important fuels which on burning produce energy and this energy is used for a number of different purposes now how do we get coal and petroleum let's see let's see how we get coal over 300 million years ago the forests on the earth due to natural processes like flooding etc they got deposited under the soil so over the years they got buried deeper and deeper so the pressure and temperature started to increase so under very high pressure and high temperature the dead vegetation got converted into coal this is the coal that we see it is made over million of years from the dead vegetation which got buried under the soil due to high temperature and high pressure this dead vegetation got converted into coal since we get coal from the dead vegetation the main component in the dead plants and animals being carbon so the process of conversion of this dead vegetation into coal is known as carbonization and this coal is used to produce energy since it has captured energy in the form of sunlight from carbon and so on so when we burn coal it produces a large amount of heat energy and so coal is used as a very important fuel since coal is formed under the layers of earth that is underground we can extract coal from the coal mines which are made underground so these are the coal mines from which coal is extracted coal is a very important fuel it has a lot of different purposes for example we use coal for cooking food coal is used in the thermal power plants for producing energy and this energy is in the form of electrical energy so the thermal power of coal is converted into electricity or electrical energy and it is used as fuel in many industries now let's see how this coal or the thermal power of coal is converted into electricity so this is a thermal power plant it uses coal as a source of energy in these power plants the thermal energy of coal is processed and converted into another form of energy that is electrical energy so thermal energy is converted into electrical energy and this electrical energy or electricity is transferred through cables and this is the electricity that we get at our homes so we get this electricity from the thermal power of the coal coal is processed in industries to get different products for example it is processed to form coke coke is a tough porous black substance it is very important in industries it is used in the manufacture of steel and it is also used for the extraction of metals so coke is a very important product in industries it is used for the manufacture of steel and it it is also used for the extraction of different metals coal is also processed to form another substance that is coal tar this coal tar is a black thick liquid with unpleasant smell you must have observed this coal tar during the formation of roads the black viscous liquid that you see is coal tar 
coal tar also has some other uses for example it is used in a number of synthetic dyes drugs explosives perfumes plastics paints photographic materials and so on so coal tar is a very important substance it is formed by the processing of coal in the industry it is used for making roads and it also has a number of different uses you know we use petrol in the cars the petrol in the engine of the cars is burned to produce energy due to which the cars run the heavier automobiles like tractors and trucks they use diesel so petrol and diesel are very important fuels they are derived from the natural source petroleum now how do we get petroleum we know the dead vegetation over millions of years got converted into coal and the dead aquatic life that is dead plants and animals in the sea over millions of years as they got buried under the layers of the sea they got converted into petroleum this crude oil also known as petroleum was formed as a result of the burial of the dead plants and animals of the aquatic life so over millions of years the aquatic life got converted into petroleum and they also formed a layer of gas so we find this gas which we'll see later this natural gas is found floating above the layer of petroleum so this is the crude oil or petroleum which is obtained then we have the oil drilling power plants in the water bodies they extract this petroleum or crude oil from the water bodies and this crude petroleum is then processed in big plants and in these as they are processed we get different units of the different products for example the processing of petroleum gives us petrol diesel and so on so all these products like petrol and diesel they are a product of the crude oil or petroleum so first petroleum is extracted and it is then processed to form the different products the layer of gas which was formed above the oil was a gas known as natural gas this natural gas we now use as compressed natural gas this is replacing the petrol in our cars as this cause lesser pollution as compared to petrol this is also a fuel which is used to produce energy now these days you hear that there is a rise in the price of petrol the fuel hike and so on why is this so what is the reason behind this price rise let's try to answer this but before that try to answer this can coal petrol and natural gas can they be prepared in the laboratory from the dead plants and animals no we cannot prepare these fossil fuels in the laboratory why because they take millions and millions of years to form and they get formed under the layers of earth so it is not possible to prepare coal petrol and natural gas in the laboratory using dead plants and animals since it is not possible to prepare them and we know it takes millions and millions of years for these products to be formed the already existing reserves of these fossil fuels are getting depleted as they are being used more and more and so as the reserves are being depleted their prices are getting increased so this is the reason for the price hike of these fuels and for this we define two kinds of resources the exhaustible and the inexhaustible resources from the name exhaustible we can infer that these are the natural resources which can get exhausted that is they get over for example coal petrol natural gas 
we know it takes millions of years to form these so the already existing reserves are getting depleted so one day they'll also get exhausted so these are the exhaustible natural resources that is they have limited re reserves and they can get exhausted by more and more use of these natural resources now we also define some natural resources as inexhaustible natural resources from the name inexhaustible these are the natural resources which will not get exhausted so the two resources are exhaustible and inexhaustible the examples of inexhaustible resources is one of the examples being wind energy these days wind mills they are used to convert wind energy into different forms of energy and we know wind is a form of energy which will not get exhausted so we can use this wind energy as an alternative form of energy also these days we use solar energy this is the energy derived from sun we know this solar energy will not get exhausted so these days solar cookers solar heaters and so on these articles they use solar energy for different purposes again solar energy is an inexhaustible form of energy as this will not get exhausted so this is used as an alternative form of energy so we have two forms of natural resources inexhaustible and exhaustible inexhaustible natural resources are those which are present in unlimited quantity since they are present in unlimited quanti quantity in nature and they are not likely to be exhausted since they are not likely to be exhausted they are inexhaustible and can be used for a number of different purposes and the exhaustible natural resources like coal petrol natural gas from the name we know that they will get exhausted that is there are limited reserves of these natural resources so they will get exhausted over the years and hence these natural resources are known as exhaustible natural resources one very important problem associated with these exhaustible natural resources like coal petrol and natural gas is that on burning they create pollution they produce carbon dioxide which is a very important source of creating air pollution so even though we need these fossil fuels for a number of different purposes they cause air pollution so it is advised to use these natural resources judiciously and with care